Was it more than just the weather that caused the Cubs game to be canceled yesterday? Did the ongoing renovations displace more than just a few bathrooms? CBS 2's Mike Parker live at Wrigley with all of the intrigue tonight. Mike. Intrigue indeed, Rob. Uh, today's game here at Wrigley turned out just fine for a lot of uh, more than a little PO'd fans. At last, some places to find relief. The frantic delivery of all those portable restrooms paid off for today's Cubs Cardinals game. The 72 new commodes proved most accommodating and even the target of snapshots from relieved fans. It hurts people had to wait a while and I wanted to show there was no lines. It was a far cry from Sunday's opener when two upper deck restrooms failed and fans faced up to 90 minute waits. We caught up tonight with Cubs co-owner Laura Ricketts at the Bricks and Ivy Ball a big fundraiser for Cubs charities at Union Station. I think it went remarkably well, and we got the W today, which is uh, all the more exciting. I asked Ricketts about the move to postpone yesterday's game, ostensibly due to weather. Some conspiracy theorists believe it was because Sunday proved the stadium wasn't ready. No, that's absolutely couldn't be further from the truth. It was predicted early on in the day that it was going to be uh, really um, really unfavorable weather just to play for anybody. For one Cubs great, all this turmoil is worth it in the end. Well, to have something good, you're going to sacrifice a little bit, but uh, when it's all over with, I think you're going to appreciate it. There are also some very unsubstantiated rumblings that the real reason the game was postponed was so that it could be played next summer when the Wrigley bleachers will be uh, fully in place. That would have mean, of course, that there'd be more ticket revenue for the Ricketts family, said Laura Ricketts tonight. Absolutely not. No way. Reporting live at Wrigley Field, Mike Parker, CBS 2 News. Yeah, a lot of conspiracy theorists out there, Mike. Thank you.